it is quite obvious to those of us who are informed, and there's not many of us at all, but those of us who are informed and know that the system is gaming us on a daily basis, is that the United States government has dealt and is continually to deal with the citizens of this country very wisely. Now, when I use that term or that make a statement that they're dealing with us very wisely, I don't mean that they're wise in their dealings. As a matter of fact, they're satanic, they're devilish, uh, deceitful, uh, obnoxious. Uh, I can go on all the way with a list of superlatives to try to explain. See, what they do is, is they make you think that they're giving you something. And if you sell your soul cheap, um, especially if you continue to keep living after the flesh, then you're going to think that you're receiving something all the while. There's one hand out in front of you and there's another hand in the back right here while they're raping you <clears throat> to death. <clears throat> it's obvious that when you read the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence, it's obvious when you read these two documents right out here, out of which... <clears throat> We should be defining civility in this country. Laws. A nation of laws. But when you have um, the inmates running the asylum, meaning the so-called elected officials, which I continue to keep telling you, these people are not elected. These people are selected by the powers that be in every city. Good old boy network. Every town. Good old boy network. Every state, good old boy network, and the federal government, it is nothing but crony capitalism, the good old boy network, i.e. secret societies that is running the United States of America. And many of you, <clears throat> as long as you get your Starbucks and your honey bun in the morning, you don't care nothing about what's going on with society. All right, then check this out. Daily Sheep will report of what's really going on behind the scenes. I want you to listen to this and listen to this real good, okay? Just trying to do my part. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't know what's going on. To um, do my part to try to wake you up here this morning, at least to try to put a defibrillator on your mind to get you to think. Now, while the whole world, you know, and, and ultimately, you do not really truly care what's going on in the world until it comes to your backyard. And by the time it comes to your backyard, it's a little too late to be concerned about the conditions of the society because while you were complacent, complacent and full of apathy, and while you were lethargic, um, loving your life, your plus life of ease and stuff, you had somebody planning behind the scenes to erode all your civil liberties to get you mentally in such a decline that the only thing you can do is give a, a plea or a cry. Hey, that's my allows are going to go. Why are you going to do nothing? Because you practiced doing nothing before. The country's all but gone because like all empires, it has been infiltrated. It has been infiltrated by outside sources. And that's what's happening with us. Now, listen to this. Daily Ship will report. Apparently, his pen and his phone are pretty much worthless this time. President Obama wants the Aurelian Unconstitutional U.S. Freedom Act passed by Sunday or else via roll call. President Barack Hussein Obama uh, ripped up his push Tuesday for the Senate to pass the U.S. Freedom Act by 12 a.m. Monday to avoid the Patriot Act's surveillance authorities from going dark. Now, wait a minute. If he ran under the ticket that the Patriot Act was unconstitutional and stuff, you know, during the Bush era and stuff, why do every single one of these uh, politicians want to continue to keep these things in place? Well, I'll tell you why. It's all about control. They got you thinking that there's a difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. There ain't no difference between the Democrats and the Republicans. They are all rats, every one of them. There's no difference whatsoever at all. You know what would really tear the fire and tear the hell out of this whole system? 
is somebody like Jesse Ventura, who is not going to be intimidated uh, by any powers that be, uh, foreign or domestic, if he ever gets in the office of the president. Because you know what's shaping up for the ticket? I mean, the actual ticket coming up here in 2016? Do you know what it is? Look, listen to this. Jeb Bush, another Bush, <laughs> and Hillary Clinton. Pick your poison. Which one is it? Can you mean to tell me, Jeb Bush, Hillary Clinton, anybody who try to run on the independent ticket, the news media is already sold out to the Democrats and the Republican rats, and you ain't gonna stand a snowball chance in hell. It's gonna take um, a literal overthrow in order to get this these oligarchies. Uh, out of this system. I'm telling you, they have dug themselves in deep. And uh, as long as you keep mind-numbing yourself um, with them whores up at Fox News who continue to keep mesmerize you with all their fake blonde hair, their makeup, um, and their boobs showing all over the place. Um, <laughs> I tell you, man, how cheap we are as a people. Let me go on here. There's one problem with that. Doing so will almost certainly require the unanimous consent of all 100 senators. Under Senate rules, there doesn't appear to be a way around Senator Paul's objection. Of those of other senators, including Democrats, Ron Weldon of Oregon and uh, Martin Hendrick of New Mexico without their consent. Yeah. Why aren't they pushing to sign the bill check of Aurelian power to the NSA and other government spy agencies? Do you realize how many government spy agencies that we have in place just to spy on you? I mean, these cell phones right here. This is the greatest tracking device that has ever been invented by mankind. They even got it so now you can't even get into it and take the power of this army because they figured out that the United States public or the American people have gotten wise and stuff when they take it out and disable this tracking device. But I've always told you it's a tracking device. Well, but uh, what are you doing, Juan? I ain't got nothing to hide. But I tell you what, anytime somebody <clears throat> question you, especially their government official, question them back and see what happens. Um, because... When people ask questions, a lot of times these questions are, are, are laced with antagonizing or antagonistic um, forms or lines of questioning, uh, meaning to try to um, get a certain answer out of you um, that you normally wouldn't answer otherwise. You know, they're, they're laced questions. And if you start questioning them, because after all, you are the authority. But see, the government, that's been a switch in this world. They're the ones that try to run around and act like that they are the authority. No, but the people have lost their way because you don't know who you are. That's the problem is right there. But anyway, let me go on before I get, because I have too many digressions in this, and I don't want to do that. I want to stay the course here for a second, all right? Um, where were they at? All right. And Obama didn't mince words. He said, if the senators don't pass this necessary... Patriot Act extension, we, the American people, simply will not be safe. Well, I don't agree with that shit. I don't agree with it at all. I don't even talking about be safe. I'm perfectly safe. Yeah, I am. Um, and I don't need no Patriot Act to keep me safe. And you don't need it either. And again, when you go back to what some of these people wrote in this document called the United States Constitution, <clears throat> if you are willing to trade civil liberties for safety, then you don't deserve it. You don't deserve it at all. And besides this, this country ain't doing nothing to keep us safe. All they're doing is running up debt through war. Now, how, do they, how does that end? Well, if you don't understand history, because the only way we can understand the future is by looking back at the past. Because the past, because there's nothing new under the sun, tells us exactly how these empires run and what they're going to do. There ain't nothing new under the sun. These people are not smarter. These people are, are not more informed. All they can do is learn from history. And that's what the United States of America and these European countries have learned from. They have learned every single time an empire failed in, in the past what to do to entrench themselves, even more so 
so that they don't fall. But you know what? Inevitably, guess what they end up still doing anyway, regardless? They still fall. They still fall. Anyway, um, if the Senate doesn't act, then there is no way to prevent these authorities from expiring. Ernest said, and I'm going to tell you, they're going to pass it again because it's a dog and pony show. It's all a game up there. They're gaming you. And again, given that Senator McConnell um, has acknowledged that we're operating in a high threat period, he, as well as anyone, understands the risk, the kind of risk that associate with the Senate failing to do their job. Oh, you mean that Republican from Kentucky who's supposed to be so liberty-minded and stuff, you mean he's part, part of the good old boy network as well? Huh. Obama himself said that the authorities are necessary to keep us safe uh, in remarks at the White House. That's just kind of like uh, Bloomberg, Michael Moore, um, Obama, all of them. They're all against guns, every single one of them. But yet and still, these damn hypocrites, guess what they got? They, they got bodyguards armed with guns. What the world is that? Bodyguards. Bloomberg, he don't want no guns in New York, but yet and still he has arm, arm protection around him all the time. These people. <laughs> Michael Moore. That fat French fry. <laughs> that's all he got around him. <laughs> it's nothing but arm heat and firepower, but but you don't, don't, don't need no guns. Don't need no guns. Oh, I tell you. I tell you. On top of that, Josh Ernest has warned the U.S. is operating in a high threat period. Uh, really, mister? Tell us. Has there been a time since 9-11 that hasn't been the case? No, we've been in high threat. I mean, like I said, I think it's been nothing. I've been living 48 years. I think it's been nothing but, what, maybe six, seven years of my whole entire life that this country hasn't been at war? We've been at war well over 90 percent of my life 95 percent of my life and do you it's war for glory's sake war that's all there's to it man <laughs> you get peace through war people are talking well people are, are taking that so seriously uh we saw a comment earlier that said the terror threat level color is stupid not that terror threat Cool, uh, coding is stupid, although it is, but that the color of the day is literally stupid. All this point. It's kind of like those schools that have fire drills every other five minutes. So when there is a real fire and the alarms are going off and the building is burning down, no one even bothers to stop what they're doing uh, with it or even look up. Uh, the people are numb to the pretense of the BS justifications at this point. And come on already. The U.S. Freedom Act. I told you that this is an act against us. What a joke. Is anyone out there still under the misguided notion any of us are free here? I include a link down below. Uh, we haven't gotten better. We've gotten worse. All we've done is allow the government to have more control of this society. They can't balance the checkbook. They don't have a stomach to do it. Um, quantitative easing and force coming. Um, everybody is talking about uh, financial collapse in September. Of course, they do it every year, though. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. They still are. Hey, J.P. Morgan, uh, who's been one of the greatest advocates of suppressing silver and gold prices, i.e. tangible assets, uh, has, has just filled their coffers, filled their vaults full of silver. Better buy and hold. That's my opinion. But anyway, what a joke, huh? What a country. You still proud of being American? <laughs>